Oh, Dr. Harris, how are you? Doing wonderful. Good. Um, you know, contraception continues to be a major discussion driver with media, with health experts, and the general public. Uh, most recently, we're seeing an increase in discussions around birth control methods. This influx of information can lead to confusion as women consider their options. Um, I'm aware that you're at the University of Indiana faculty, and I'm very pleased to have an opportunity to discuss with you today and with our Health Power audience why it's important for women to have comprehensive discussions with their health care providers to figure out which birth control method best fits their needs. So thanks a lot for spending this time with us. Thank you for having me today. Now, with women's health being an important topic in the media, what should women be thinking about when it comes to contraception and family planning? Yes, contraception is a hot topic. And with all of the options we have, it's sometimes a very confusing topic for women to navigate with trying to decide what's the best method for them. I'm here today to help provide a little bit of guidance of some things that may be important to discuss with your healthcare provider. The things that I would emphasize are effectiveness, long-term health benefits, and lifestyle considerations that are important to you. Okay, and and within that context of what's best, uh, where should women start in their thinking? Yes. It's important to understand that there are actually 18 FDA approved methods of contraception available. And with those various types, there's actually tiers of efficacy where certain types are more effective than other types. At that top tier, there's permanent sterilization and long acting reversible contraception. These methods are greater than 99% effective in prevention of pregnancy. However, Hormonal contraception does not prevent the transmission of sexually transmitted infections. So that's also something you need to bring into consideration. Okay. Now, go, let's go back to the top tier again. What, what would be the top tier? So the top tier is permanent sterilization and long-acting reversible contraception, such as an IUD. Okay. And the IUD, which is intrauterine device, right? Yes, that's correct. So an IUD is a small T-shaped device that's inserted into the uterus. IUDs can provide contraception coverage, again, greater than 99% effective for the duration of three to 10 years. And if you change your mind and want the IUD removed prior to its full duration, know that your fertility can be restored within one menstrual cycle. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, and uh, within one menstrual cycle? Yes, yes. And of the newest IUDs that are on the market today, I would like to mention Kylina, and I'm here with Bear Pharmaceuticals to let you know a little bit more about this IUD. So again, this is a small T-shaped device. It's inserted by your healthcare provider in an office setting, providing five years of contraception coverage. That's again, greater than 99% effective. And, can and how, 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 how are you spelling that particular one? So it's, Kylina is spelled K-Y-L-E-E-N-A. K-Y-L-E-E-N-A. Okay, Kylina. Okay, and you say that, that gives five years of sterilization? Five years of contraception coverage. Five yes. years of, of, of coverage. Okay. And... Uh, What um, what is 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 that? What, are there other IUDs that are as effective? Yes, IUDs are equally effective and greater than ninety nine percent effective. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And uh, you say it can be is installed in the office setting? Yes, it can be inserted in the office setting in just a few minutes. And uh, are there complications or infection or anything like that that we would be concerned about? So with all contraception options, there are potential side effects, and risks, and benefits. So it's important to discuss these details with your health care provider, as well as discussing your medical history to determine which is the best method for you. Okay. But generally speaking, uh, the number of, of side effects are not much? Yes. Generally speaking, most patients are great candidates for an IUD. They um, contain progesterone, which is a hormone that has relatively few contraindications due to people's medical history. Also highly effective in thinning the lining of the uterus to prevent pregnancy. And a very small amount is actually absorbed into the bloodstream. So there's a very low chance of side effects. Okay. You say progesterone. Do they have progesterone and estrogen or just mainly Progesterone. Just progesterone in the form of leaving a gestural. Okay. Now, where can women get more information about IUDs? So, for more information, a valuable website is kylina-us.com. Just one second. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Kylina.us. Kylina-us.com. Mm hmm us.com yes okay and, and then for more information regarding your health insurance coverage for contraception i would recommend the website coverher.org coverher.org yes that gives health insurance information yes about your insurance coverage for contraception okay that's that's very helpful also. So just recapping, uh, for getting general information, you're recommending Kylina-US-COM. Mm -hmm. Is it dash com or dot com? It's dash US dot com. Dot com, okay. And then for more information about health insurance coverage, do most health insurers cover this? It depends on your individual plan, but I would say with the current state of health insurance coverage, most patients do have at least partial coverage for their IUD. I see. Okay. And one can get more information on that through CoverHer.org. Yes, and thank you for having me today. Okay, thank you very much. I'm sure this will be helpful for my Health Power audience. Thank you.